Hey Chica, how you doing? Hey girl, I'm finding you. What are you doing out my way? Picking up some supplies to revamp this headboard that I got for free. You know I gotta make this work, cause you know your girl be balling on a budget. Yep, but how are you going to do that? Let me show you. This is Liv right now. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I took the headboard that I got from OfferUp for free from this to this. If you want to see how I do that, keep watching. Here are the supplies you will need to complete this project. After covering up the headboard with tape and, and a little bit of cardboard and newspaper to make sure that I didn't damage the leather part, I got a bucket, put the mirror in the bucket. You see I have some bubble wrap down there, but you don't have to have that. You can, you can have the bubble wrap, the plastic bag, and make sure you wear the gloves and the safety glasses. And take the hammer and just bang the pieces into smaller pieces. And um, sometimes the mirror pieces will pop up as you're hammering it. That's why it's good to put it in a bag and wear the safety glasses. Okay, now that I have the mirror pieces spread out a little bit, I'm going to take the time to take the bit pieces of mirror and the ones that kind of have the edge, you will see that I'm going to line them across the wood part of the headboard just to see where I want them placed. And once you get the big pieces laid out, I'm not putting glue now. I'm just placing them where I think I want them just to get an idea. Then I will glue them down. But once I lay down the bigger pieces, then I will go in and detail it more with the smaller pieces. Now I did take my gloves off, but I'm not recommending for you to do that. I just want to make sure I tell you the right way so you can make the decision on your own. This is what I was talking about before. Now that I have my big pieces laid down, I'm going to put the small pieces aside and go in and detail the look. Now, once I got a basic idea how I want to lay the pieces down, I did realize that it was easier um, once I did that to put the E6000 down section by section. And as uh, after I put the E6000 down, there, the, the E6000 allowed you to be able to move the mirror pieces closer together. So it was easier to do it that way. And um, they didn't move, of course, like they are now. They are just You can just slide them into the place where you want to put them. And then this is what I got with just finishing the E6000. And I'm taking a putty knife and making sure that everything is laying flush. 
And then after that, I will be adding the spackle. After laying a spackle down, I'm going back again over it with no extra product, just making sure that it gets in all the nooks and crannies of the mirror and just sliding down and making sure everything is as even as possible. Okay, now I'm taking a damp cloth and run it across where I don't want the spackle to be to make sure it's a clean line and make sure that none of that spackle would dry up where I don't want it to. Okay, now it's the next day and I'm taking a putty knife and scrape off all the excess dry spackle that I did not need to be there. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking some Windex and spraying down the hairboard and I'm Take a cloth and just wipe off, again, the excess spackle. Okay, here is the headboard with not behind the bed yet, but Okay, here's what the headboard looks like without any um, bedding on it at all I will add a clip of how it looks when I have it made up, but I didn't want to take away from the headboard so That's why I'm showing it without all of the bed all of the pillows so this is what it looks like up close. And I added these rhinestones. As you can see, they add a lot of nice detail on it to do that. I love the way that it turned out. And it doesn't scratch or, or anything like that. This is what it looked like on the side. I didn't put any mirrors on the side. But it really turned out beautifully. All right, here is the headboard with the bedding on it. As you can see, I have my headboard on risers. Let me see if I can show you that real fast. On these risers like that, so I can store stuff under the bed. But I also have those same risers on the headboard, so the headboard can look more grand with all these pillows. And I also use the three pillows in the back are European size pillows. I'm sorry, Euro size pillows. And so it really gives it a nice look. And of course, a room tour will be coming soon. But isn't that gorgeous? Let me give you a closer look again. Just love it. There I am. Right? And there you are with the beautiful headboard and with the bed red rose to give it an even more grander look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you share this with your friends and anyone you think would be interested. And make sure you tell them to subscribe to my channel. And we have more great things coming to my channel. I love you guys. Thank you for the support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the fun. 
And as always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye. Love you guys.